No one will be more mean to you than someone whose ego you wounded. If you have been blessed to be a karmic mirror, I want to see in the comments. Because a lot of people, they don't understand just how painful it is at first to understand that you trigger people. You literally don't even have to do anything. And people are like, oh my gosh, look at her. Who does she think she is with her eyebrows and her hair and her shirt? And you really are like, I'm just being me. I'm just doing me. Like, these are the things that I like. But see, in the beginning, that looks like someone saying that to you and you feeling like you have to just turn your light down so that everybody feels comfortable. Be the thermostat. Set the temperature in that room. If you like it a cool 85, the people that want it on 40 gonna have to acclimate or they can leave the room. That's so important for you to get because so many people think it's the fear of being seen, but really it's your fear of success because you already know you're deemed to be successful. And you know, when you get there, a lot of people are gonna be threatened but since you know that, that doesn't mean sit in survival mode. That means turn the abundance all the way up. You don't have to do anything and you will continue to trigger people. That's just your design. That's how you were made. You trigger people. And when people see that things just seem so easy for you and they don't understand what it takes to really be you, they might do anything in their power to try to take you out the way so that they can put on your skin for a size. So you gotta be careful. Stay away from them. Go ghost. Don't give no explanation. Let them continue to run your name and smear your name all over town. Because the people who really know what it is, they know what it is. And the ones who knew what it was but couldn't be you, they'll continue to act as if you're the problem. One of the hardest things about going no contact with an emotionally abusive parent is knowing that deep down, all you want in the world is just for them to be your parent. You just want them to do the job that they signed up to do. We don't expect perfection. We don't expect miracles. We just want you to be a parent. And when you're dealing with somebody who is emotionally immature and unable to do that, it cuts so deeply because we are biologically determined to have a connection with our caregivers. You want your mom, you want your dad, you want these people to be the safe space for you that they are designed to be. So when they're not, it cuts so deep to your core and it can be one of the most painful things that you ever have to go through. So it breaks my heart too, and I'm so sorry you went through it as well. When your mom is continually invalidating your feelings and making you question your reality, that is gaslighting and it is absolutely emotional abuse. Emotional abuse isn't always just name calling and yelling at someone. It a lot of times is very subtle, like what you're saying. I know that that's how I experienced it. And that's why it took me so long to realize that what was happening to me was abuse. And because we are so bonded with our parents, we want to believe the best in them. We want to believe that they are good because they're supposed to be good. And the thing is, is that a lot of times people on the outside are not going to understand it. And there's really something to be said for finding a community here in the online space of other people like us who get it, because it's a very specific type of emotional abuse that I would not wish on anybody. But trust me, I see you.